Hi YouTube, this is Crazy Bullet Man. One of my uh, gun stocks that I uh, installed a gun comb and just oiled it and just uh, waiting till it uh, the first coat of true oil dries up. But uh, this gun comb I did myself and even made the uh, hardware for it. And today I'm going to try to show you uh, steps to take on how to make your own gun stock comb. Um, I do sell these gun combs on eBay. You can see this one here. It's four inch by one inch and quarter inch thick. And uh, this one here is four and a half inch, one inch by uh, one eighth thick. Uh, these, the nuts on the bottom, are accessible. Where when you make the cutout on your stock, you have to make a cutout groove for those nuts to slide back and forth. Where in this gun comb hardware, the nuts are machined. The groove is machined on the aluminum where the nuts are flush inside and all you have to do is cut out the square opening on your gun stock. Now these gun comb hardware kits I sell in eBay on eBay. So if you want to look them up I have them for sale there. Um, they're very nice. They're custom made. I can make one any size you want. Um, and well, going back to how to start the uh, the cutout on your uh, gun stock. First of all, you need a gun stock. This gun stock, I believe it's from a Winchester. I might be wrong. I don't know. Um, but this is what a, a gun stock would probably look like. And then you need to tape it up like this all the way around. Okay. And then do your drawings on it. Maybe a template or anything like that would be fine. What I do is I tape it up, put a ruler up here, and measure from here to the line. And I put three quarters of an inch and make the line. Um, this is a finished stock that I made on my Winchester 1400. As you can see, this is the 1400 model, 1400 and 20 gauge. Got an adjustable Morgan recoil pad kit. This is a comb that I made with my own made hardware, as you can see. Here's what I do to start the comb. Need an area where you can clamp the gun stock, table, a jig, anything you can use to clamp it to surface where you're going to use a saw to cut 